Welcome to the show where ideas meet intrigue, where the unveiled thoughts are given a louder platform. This is your host, Moon Mukherjee, and you're watching The Loud Land. This is Mr. Andre Nam. He's the CEO of Chronically Healthy Life. With him is the beautiful Mina Wong, who's the co-founder of Chronically Healthy Life. So thank you for being a part of this show and thanks for coming to the studio. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, Andrew, as I know, uh, you've, you have a long journey and you've traveled the world to come where you are. So, from a boy, small boy in, uh, born in Hong Kong, mm -hmm. right? So, small boy born in Hong Kong to Texas. How? Yeah, well, I was born in Hong Kong. I was actually born in a small village. And my okay. family actually owns that village. It's like from way back from Oh, legacy. we have a king here? <laughs> well, that will be another story. I should have been the king, okay? <laughs> okay. Um, but anyways, uh, my father wanted a better life for the family, and we decided to move in Canada when I was three. Okay. And he thought it's like, you know, you, you get to have a better life in Canada. You get to live your dreams, very similar to the U.S. Right. And growing up, I always wanted to be a doctor. Right. Um, I just thought that was cool. Make a lot of money, <laughs> and you got this title. And um, but that's really what I enjoyed. That's wonderful. How about how about you, Mina? How's your journey been? Have you been born in Texas, or you, sh you like shifted from some country? What is the story like? Well, I actually also grew up in Hong Kong, but not in the small village. I grew up in the big city of Hong Kong, <laughs> and I actually stayed in Hong Kong until I was 16 years old, and then family moved to Canada. Okay. Um, that's where my fam my parents retired. <laughs> and I went to high school and that's where I met this guy. <laughs> and we've been together since then. Oh my god, so high school sweethearts. Is it? Totally. It's <laughs> <laughs> <It's> easier. <laughs> okay, wonderful, wonderful. So uh, I would like to know from both of you a little bit about chronically healthy life. What is it about? I I heard it's about stem cell regeneration. So for the audience and for us who are live in this uh, technical terms, if you can just be uh, telling us or letting us know in very basic terms, mm -hmm. what does that mean? Okay, perfect. Um, do you want to know why we call it chronically healthy life or do you want to know about stem no. cells first? What, what is stem cell and then why chronically healthy perfect. life? Perfect. Um, so stem cells is basically uh, the master cell in the human body. It okay. can change into any cell that your body needs when it needs repair. Okay. So for instance, it can change the heart cell, it can change the skin cell to make you younger, right. it can change the lung cell. Mm -hmm. if, if you have lung damage, if you tore a muscle, it can turn into a muscle cell. Okay. So basically stem cells is nature's way to heal your body. And it will change to whatever your body needs mm -hmm. when it's damaged. Wonderful. So what made you uh, take interest in this field of work and uh, open an uh, institution by the name of Chronically Healthy Life? What, what led to that? I think... You that passion of being yeah. a doctor? Or what, well, what, what is the reason, what is the seed idea behind Chronically Healthy Life? Chronically does not usually go together with healthy life. When you hear chronically, it's okay. usually associated with disease. Right. And what led us to chronically healthy life is the failures of doctors healing my body when I started having chronic conditions, okay. right? So for us, it's sort of a spin for, help, for us to help people get healthy back. And that's why we want you to be chronically healthy, not chronically sick. So that's why we want, that's why we call it chronically healthy life, because we want people to think you can be healthy all the time rather than being sick all mm -hmm. the time. That's, that's a really a new way of looking at things, yes. uh, I believe. So that's, let, let's, let's go back to, as you say, you're from Hong Kong, he's from Hong Kong, and then you both came to Texas, and then like, you know, high school sweethearts. What's the story? What's the romantic story behind? And how, how long, uh, how many years you've been together? That's a math test. <laughs> <laughs> too long, too 
cannot remember the years. <laughs> Thirty. Thirty-five years together. Yes. Yeah, we yes. met in high school, so it's been thirty-five years, and we were married for twenty-four years. Yes. I think the interview should go towards like how to stay a happy couple for thirty-five years. <laughs> Rather, we talk about <laughs> the chronically healthy life because these days, you know, we find a lot of people falling apart. And you know the the understanding or the loyalty going down so much because so much options life is so fast. We always dream of that one life where we have one partner, one love for the rest of our life. But we here have this wonderful couple who are sticking to each other through thick and thin. That's that's such a sweet thing. What what does uh, Andrew have to say on that? Well, it's funny. Any, any, any romantic thing? <laughs> the romantic things that happen, I would say, is like you said, she stuck with us through thick and thin, through right. literally sickness and health. Mm -hmm. um, but it's just the funny things how we met um, in high school. And we just say we met during Valentine's Day. I don't know if they celebrate Valentine's Day here. Yes, we do. Um, we both actually had a crush on someone else and they <laughs> dumped us on Valentine's Day <laughs> in grade 12. So, we, so you know, the rebounds turned serious? <laughs> yes, and it, her best friend gave okay. a, you know, like a joke Valentine to me. <laughs> And that's how it all started. It's a much longer story, but it, it literally started out as a joke for us. Oh, oh yeah. I remember um, my brother who's uh, in US too. He's the uh, vice president in Google. He had a similar kind of a love story. They're almost, uh, almost 25, 30 years together. Mm -hmm. And uh, they were not dating each other. And my brother's best friend, uh, told to take the proposal to my sister-in-law. So, but my brother was so in love with my sister-in-law, <laughs> he didn't take the proposal. <laughs> and what strategically do is he was, he became the best friend of the girl. Oh, no. And then later on, <laughs> he proposed to her. <laughs> so it's like a backstabbing best friend. Oh. And both, I mean, the boy is also a renowned personality who's made uh, various films and they're all good friends, Correct. no? But, uh, yeah. You should introduce, introduce your <laughs> Yes, definitely. <laughs> Dada, are you watching? I'm talking about <laughs> oh, <yeah>. your stuff here. <laughs> okay, so since she's been an integral part of your journey, uh, has she, what kind of role she had uh, as a co-founder of a Chronically Healthy Life? Or if you want to speak. Yeah, do you want to talk about that? So Chronically Healthy Life is, um, we start up as a show that we do online. And Chronically for Life it means L-I-F-E, right? So mm -hmm. it's longevity, which is something more than just aging, right? Mm -hmm. um, I stands for independence, and we talk about financial independence, okay. freedom of thought. Okay. All that. Hmm. Um, F stands for family, so family is important. Right. And, brother. <laughs> and of course, E is the environment, which, um, you know, especially where we came from, the environment, the air, right. the water, this all being, the toxicity is so high that it's actually affecting our health. Right. So, chronically healthy life to us is, a, is a more of a bigger term that encompasses all these things. Wonderful. I, I think a uh, chronically healthy life, you, uh, you guys have introduced a uh, phototherapy patch, as you call it, Correct. right? Which you have to stick to your body. It's just like a band-aid. Correct me if I'm yes. wrong. Yes. Which you have to stick to your body uh, every 12 hours and you just open it and next day you, uh, you just put, put, put it yes. back. And a uh, lot of lives have changed with just like a sticker on their body. How, how did that work? And since you have launched your product, you guys are from the US. Correct. So how has the US market accepted it? And if you can share some stories of success where you've seen these patches actually working on the rejuvenation of cells and making things better for any of us here. You want me to take that one? Mm, I guess we can start with um, yeah. Christy's mom. Okay. You know, she's ex Christy is one of our good friends. Okay. And for the longest time, we tried. 
Yeah. So um, you you say, uh, how is the acceptance in U.S. about your product, and how long are you doing this? Like acceptance in U.S. has been tremendous because um, I, I hate to call it in the U.S. healthcare is sick care, yes. right? Um, too many times people get so sick and they're looking for the silver bullet, like the magic bullet to. Hmm cure whatever problem they are, True. but what comes down to is they're getting medication that's causing a side effect, which will need another medication to cover that side effect. Right. And they're just getting sicker and sicker over time. And mm -hmm. I, I think people are getting sick of being sick and they're looking for different alternatives, yes. True. right? And, um, and I think it's not just about sickness, it's even, uh, I think you have uh, quite a lot of opportunity in regards to the beauty industry. Yes. You know, we use a lot of fillers and Botox those days to let go of the wrinkles. Yes. And as you said, you can be naturally uh, beautiful just by putting those patches on you and you do not have to go injectables because of the natural rejuvenation of your cells, right? Correct. So remember when, when I mentioned stem cells, hmm. um, the patches will stimulate, you know, I don't want to go too sciencey over here, right. but the patches will stimulate a peptide called a GHKCU, copper peptide. Okay. And when this peptide gets elevated in your body, mm -hmm. one of the great effects is it creates stem cells. Okay. And stem cells can change to anything, you know, whatever your body needs, hmm. right? So if you have heart damage or change your heart, da you know, heart cells, if you sprain your muscle, you, you tore your skin, that's what it will change into. But if you have nothing going on, everything is sort of taken care of, mm. it starts working on your skin. It boosts collagen, oh, wow. right? And that's why you start losing the wrinkles. You're not going to need Botox to get those nice, <laughs> you know, smooth skin, right? You don't look like you're, you know, stretched out uh, for a lot of people when they're trying to look younger, right? But this true, is all true. natural. Wonderful. Um, to my audience, uh, like I was in shock when I came to know about their ages. Trust me, I know Asians are blessed with good skin, but I was literally in a shock when I heard their actual age. Uh, so I will not uh, let you guys know about it, but let's let's hear it in the comment section. That how do you think? How old do you think they are? And if this patches here, yeah, that's what it are, looks like. Uh, that's how it looks like is working on them or not and then you know the easy solution to look this young at that question mark age so please uh, let me know are you guys coming are you having any plan to spread this goodness in the MENA region and in UAE are you planning to launch your product any soon because yes. we too want to look good and feel healthy I, I think Everyone wants to look good and feel healthy, right? Sure. And um, our mission here and, and coming here to the MENA region in, in, in Dubai, we, we love it. It's, it's a beautiful city. Beautiful city. People yeah, here are beautiful. Architecture, architecture is beautiful. Sure. And we want to be able to share this amazing product for everyone where they can benefit not to only look younger, but to feel younger. To feel younger, right? And right. I always say, get people to guess how old you are. And I get free meals all the time for my birthday <laughs> when they guess how you are. And you know, I, I think your, your confidence is better, your energy is better when sure. you feel younger and you look younger. That's true. And you are actually younger. We are reversing your age too. So we have studies on that happening too. I, I can assure you this because uh, we met a couple of people uh, before this show where I spoke to them, I came to know like, you know, some people who have traveled for long hours, even like not getting sleep for 48 hours straight, still they're feeling fresh. Uh, people who have uh, problems with uh, body ache, body pain, you know, ages 50 and above, they are also feeling the pain much lesser. Yes. So, I, I have heard, though I haven't tried out yet, which I am going to, he's gonna give me. <laughs> yes, we will. And when, when he's gonna come back, uh, if you see me looking better, you know whom to go to. <laughs> 
from the next time. Okay, that was uh, kind of uh, all about our stem cells because we would not like to talk much about it. Sure. We're planning something big coming up mm -hmm. next year. Yes. And this beautiful people from US is going to come to make uh, Dubai, the people of Dubai, more healthier, more fresher, more younger, more beautiful. Right, Even so. More beautiful <laughs> you guys are so beautiful already. It's, but yes. Thank you, thank you. Dubai has been the best part of it. it it's always open to so many cultures. It's literally an expat run country. 90% of the population is expat. So <laughs> we are like crutches around. So Dubai has been wonderful, the rules, the regulations, the poshness, the beautiful architectures. Mm -hmm. It's like an epitome of lifestyle, you know? So thanks, thanks for um, loving Dubai. As, as a netizen for over 20 years now, I would like to thank you both. So next we come to the section where we called uh, super fast 10 questions, where you have to answer one or two words about the question that's shot to you. Uh -oh. Not. <laughs> Not too much, but if it's an interesting story, last week I had a guest who had a really interesting story and said, Dr. Moon, I cannot uh, be very discreet about this because it's a really nice story and you need to listen. So you have the privilege too. So I heard uh, in US you are called the foolish couples. <laughs> yes. Why foolish couples? So in the, in the U.S. we well we don't celebrate, but there's a certain day that we call April Fool's Day, okay. which is April first. Okay. And that's actually both are our birthdays. Yes. <laughs> On the same okay. day, same year. Do you guys not feel that? <laughs> I'm getting distracted. Okay, let's back to the question. In regard to the food, who cooks in the house? Like you are the cook, she's the cook, or who's the better cook in the house? I think I'm the better cook. Would, would you give it to your husband? Cook, he's a very messy cook. <laughs> ah. Yes, yes. We. <laughs> so the, 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 the kitchen of... Yes, uh, and cans, and everything, yeah. <laughs> but what you eat is nice. <laughs> but eventually, then, <laughs> yes. Eventually. The washing part, not so nice. <laughs> Are you listening? Is the husband listening here? <laughs> I am, but you know, you cannot do perfection with one pot. <laughs> <laughs> so... Um, Cut to next question. Whose idea was it to conquer, after conquering US with your products, whose idea was it to now, what's next? Let's conquer MENA region. Whose idea was it? Yours or I her? think that was yours. Because MENA region, MENA Wong, ah, right? Okay, why not? <laughs> why not? Why right? not? Wow. See, that's the reason they're 35 years together. <laughs> <laughs> he just has the right words in the right time. <laughs> he knows how to work, but you not need to know how to clean the pans, you know? <laughs> or else uh, wifey is going to be very upset soon. A lot of pans. That's all I can say. A lot of pans. <laughs> and um, again, back to a little bit personal question. What's the story behind that sip of coffee? I heard you guys um, sip coffee very differently. Okay, now, uh, any crazy, uh, any crazy uh, client that you have uh, faced while you're doing, because whenever we are trying to sell an idea or a product, mostly being in the medical field, me, myself, for a long, I have such crazy encounters with my patients. So any crazy encounter with your clients that you would like to share the story? I would just briefly share it because I love my clients. Like, you know, that's one of the things I really do is I go all in when I'm helping my clients. Mm -hmm. But there's this particular client, and I'm sure she'd be okay with me talking about her on Let's TV. Let's not take the name. Of course not. <laughs> of course not. But, um, you know, I've been working with her probably for the last four months. And, uh, you know, originally she was saying... Um, how can this help me? And you know, we got her on the um, 
stem cell activation patches and everything, mm -hmm. and she does have cancer and everything. So she had a lot of underlying conditions, oh. right? And we just want her to start feeling better, a better quality of life. I'm not, mm -hmm. you know, I'm not a doctor. I'm not saying it's healing anything, but we right. want to improve her quality of life. Sure. But for most, most of our, our clients, they start noticing something usually in a day or two, like better energy, less pain, right. better sleep. She wasn't noticing anything at all, and she was okay. like calling me weekly, and I was checking in on her weekly, and she's just, Andrew, when's it gonna work? You know, Andrew, the, all this stuff you told me, it's not working for me. And, and I said, well, you know, everyone's a bio individual, everyone's body's different, right? But Sometimes it gets a little overwhelming, right? Yes. Like, they want results like this. I do not understand, even while I encounter patients, Correct. you know, uh, I'm in the mental health. Mm -hmm. so, one session of uh, counseling wouldn't make you the, feel like the king of the town. Exactly. It's a process. The damage has to be recovered. Yes. And then once the healing is done, from there we step. So people just want immediate results. I mean, there is a process. Like There is a time for your body to accept those Correct. patches, make it through. I think... Correct. I, but, you know, to make a long story short, you mm -hmm. know, this went over two months and everything was looking bad on her blood labs and everything. And, you know, and, and to me, that's very important. I, I'm mm. a very data-driven person. When I help people, I look at blood labs. I look at all the biomarkers for the body to right. make sure it's going in the right direction. Mm -hmm. So I got concerned. Right. But literally, I think it was like four days before we traveled to Dubai, she called me, Andy, Andy, and she left this message. You need to call me back. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Again. <laughs> right. And she says, Andy, I think it's working. Wow. And she's been complaining for, you know, over two and a half months that it weren't. Wow. And then she says, Andy, you know, and I'll... I'll That's quite an assurance yeah. from a grumpy client. Yes, but she basically <laughs> said she had an infection that was pushed out of her body. Oh. Right, like a staph infection that was pushed out of her body. Okay. And it was like the size of a walnut. Oh, my God. But as soon as that infection got removed, Mm -hmm. Literally the next day, mm. everything was better. Her pain was gone. She wow. can sleep, right? She had better energy. So she says, what happened those two and a half months is the patches helped her push this infection out. But she didn't know she had this infection, right? right? So it was healing the body in a way people don't think you about. Know. Because you never know what's going on inside your body. True. You may look really good on the outside, but True. who True. knows what's going on the inside. So I'm really happy. It, it gave me so much energy. It's oh, like, that good. was my, you know, I my high moment. I can't wait to yeah. use this patches and feel that yeah. good. You know what kind of schedules we have back to back? Yeah. Doctor, patient, everywhere. Oh, I'm all you're over really it. <laughs> you're a busy person. <laughs> so it's like too much, you know? In the evening, you so see me in a different attire. Morning, another. <laughs> afternoon, another. So too many feathers. I think that patches yes. is what, what's going to make me a little more energetic. So one word... Uh, I, I would suggest one word you think of, not yourself, mm -hmm. but your wife. If you have to speak about one word that Mina Wong is, what is that word? Unconditional love. Oh. And, and, you know, I, I'm not saying it for TV show. 35 okay. years. He knows how to woo the woman again. Boys, are you learning? The men, are you learning? Unconditional love, how subtle it is. And Miss Wong, if you can say one word, please do not make it cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> that that yeah, that represents it Andrew. Energy. It is just so much energy that ups. It keeps me up all the time, even wow. when I'm not, you know, feeling, uh, feeling particularly great that day. He just brings it up. Wow. But since I'm a promoter of uh, self-love, mm -hmm. so I would suggest uh, or I would ask, what would you uh, compliment yourself in one word before we end the show? Like Mina Wong, when you pat yourself, you know, great, I'm like this. So what is the one compliment to yourself that you would like to give? I think the word that I would describe me as calming just You're a I, very I'm calm very personality. I don't, <laughs> <laughs> I don't do that. And, and one more thing I would like to say. I'm a big hugger. 
wherever I go, I hug people after me. I've been a lot criticized for that, you know? Uh, and, and this is the first time I met a woman who on herself, when she met me the first time, she came and she extended her hands. So she's a wonderful hugger too, and every time you feel that calm when you hug her. So after Moon Mukherjee, M.M. -M. Now Mina Wong is the <laughs> warmest hugger that you can find in UAE. So Andrew, same thing, same question to you. If you have to pat yourself and it's like, wow, Andrew, you're that. What is that one compliment or one uh, quality that you uh, give it to yourself? I think maybe loyal. I'm as loyal as puppies. I, I swear. Aww. It's like everyone that knows me. Um, I'm me why is Mina smiling on that? <laughs> <laughs> he knows what to say. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not just loyal to my are, wife, obviously. Are you sure right? we are talking about this? <laughs> no, Patches or no, we are no, having a no, love conversation? No, I, I'm talking about loyal to everyone I meet. Like, I know. you know, relationships to me is very important. So I know, I yeah. know. I know what you mean. <laughs> Don't throw yeah. me under the bus now. <laughs> I know what you mean. Okay, something tricky. One word that you would like to let me know about me, Dr. Moon. Okay. <laughs> the best word I can describe you, Dr. Moon, is generous. Oh, mm. that's so we sweet. We really feel it from you. You're the best person we've met here. Oh, that's so sweet. Trust me, I'm very straight. <laughs> So is she. <laughs> and Andrew. I'm going to get in trouble, but I think you're quirky. You know, <laughs> we're a little bit foolish. You're a little bit quirky. And when we, we met, we it, 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 we it, are it all was Aries. magical. It really. It's Aries. Yes, we are it all was Aries. magical. It's, all, it's almost like everything, just the whole universe yes. came together. <laughs> and a lot of energy. Yeah, right? It's a lot of good energy together. So That's, for sure. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you for the kind words. And thank you. Andrew and Mina for being in the Lamp Lounge with Moon Mukherjee. Thank you for having us. Thank you.